To write the equation in logarithmic form, we're going to use our heart shortcut. So I'm going to start with 343, and we're going to go around and land on 7, and then 1 third. So because we're writing in logarithmic form, I'm going to say log of base, or sorry, log base 343 of 7 equals 1 over 3. Once you have your final answer, it's really easy and I think a pretty good idea to um, double check your work using your calculator. So if I take the left side of my equation, uh, which is log base 343 of 7, and I plug that into my calculator, I can figure out if the right side of my equation is correct. So what I'm going to do is go, I'm using Desmos, and I'm going to go into functions, and I'm going to type in log. So I'm going to do log of 7, and I, in order to get back to the numbers, I have to go click on this main button. So I'm going to do log of 7, close my parentheses, and then I'm going to divide it by, and it automatically puts it into a fraction, which is nice. Then I have to go back to functions to get log again, and then back to my numbers, 343. And when I press enter, you can see that it gives me 0 0.3 repeating. And if you'd like to, you can hit this convert to fraction button, and it tells you one third. So that confirms that I do have the correct answer because both the left and the right side are equal. We're going to use the heart shortcut again to write this equation in exponential form. So I'm going to start with the 5, which is our base, and I'm first going to land on 2 and then on 25. So remember, because we are going now into exponential form, I should not have the word log in my answer. I'll write 5, which is the base, to the second power equals 25. This one in particular is um, something you can probably double check in your head. 5 squared is equal to 25, which is then equal to the right side of the equation. So it's a good idea to double check to make sure that um, when you go into exponential form that the expression on the left is equal to your answer on the right. The easiest way to evaluate this expression is to use a calculator. Now, some of you have calculators that will be able to evaluate a log of any base. And if that is the case for you, you can type in this expression exactly how you see it, and it will give you the answer. If you don't have a calculator that will automatically evaluate any base, then you can use the change of base formula, which is what I'm going to walk you through right now. The change of base formula says that you change your bases into log base 10, or the common log, and you take uh, the log of your bigger number, your of number, and you divide it by the log base 10 of your base. So what I always try to tell myself is the base goes on the bottom. They both start with B. Um, and that way, that kind of helps you organize your information. Now that we have our um, expression written in the change of base formula, uh, we can put this into our Desmos calculator. If you have a calculator that doesn't require a change of base formula, meaning that it automatically will calculate logs of any base, you don't have to worry about this formula. You can type it in exactly how you see it. But I'm going to show you how to do this on Desmos. So the first thing we need to do is um, go to function and then get log. You can also type in the word log. Um, but I'm just going to show you what to click on. Um, and then we're going to go back to main so that I can put in my fraction. I'm going to click on the fraction button, A over B, and I'm going to type in 1 over 81. Now I'm going to arrow to the right so that I get out of the parentheses. And I'm going to um, hit divided by. And it's going to automatically put it into a fraction for us. Back to function, get another log back to main so I can type in 3. And when I press enter, it tells me that my answer is negative 4. So either way you did this, either using a change of base formula or a calculator that does any base, your answer is going to equal negative 4. And just to make some sense out of this, what that means is that if I take 3 and I raised it to the negative 4th power, my answer would be 1 over 81. The first step to solving this equation is to write in the base. Because there is no base and I have the word log, I can assume that this is a common log, which means it has base 10. 
Now that I have my base written in, I can use the heart to put it into exponential form. So I'm going to start with my base, which is 10. I would first stop on 0 and then at 3x minus 2. So when I put this into exponential form, I'm going to have 10 to the 0 power equals 3x minus 2. From here, I can do some simplifying and we'll be able to solve for our final answer. 10 to the 0 power is 1. In fact, any number to the 0 power is 1, except for 0 to the 0 power, which is undefined. So I have 1 equals 3x minus 2. Now I need to get x by itself. So I'm going to add 2 to both sides. So 1 plus 2 gives me 3. And now all I have left is 3x. And I'm going to divide both sides by 3. So I now get that x equals 1. So that would be my final answer. I do need to double check that it's not going to give me an extraneous solution. So off to the side here, I'm going to do a little bit of uh, checking. So if I take my x equals 1, which is the solution, and I plug it in up here. So if I say log of 3 times 1 minus 2, I want to make sure that it actually does equal 0. So that's a question right now. 3 times 1 is 3 and 3 minus 2 is 1. So I want to know, is log of 1 equal to 0? You have a couple options here. You can either uh, put this in your calculator. You can just type in the common log button of 1, and it will tell you that it does, in fact, equal 0. The other thing you could do, um, just to kind of help make sense out of things, or if you don't have a calculator handy, you could put this into exponential form to check. So again, this is log base 10. And what I need to know is, is 10 to the 0 power equal to 1? And the answer is yes, because as we discussed already, anything except 0 that's raised to the 0 power is equal to 1. So this does check out. We do not have an extraneous solution. My final answer is down here that x equals 1. I'm going to copy down this equation. Because what we're going to have to do to get this exponent um, out of the exponent and, and down on the main level is we're going to have to take the log base e of both sides. Remember that log base e is the same as the natural log. And I like to use cursive because otherwise I think it looks like in. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put the natural log. I'm going to take the natural log of both sides. So I have the natural log of e which turns out to just be 1. And what that means is that this just disappears and my exponent's going to come down out of the exponent. So I'm just going to have x minus 4. The natural log of 45 is a number. Um, it's going to be kind of a crazy decimal. And I've uh, down in the bottom right corner here, I put this into Desmos. Um, here's the ln button when you go into function. Um, and it gives me 3.80 blah, blah, blah. So I'm going to uh, round this number to the nearest hundredth. And the reason why I'm choosing hundredths is because that's what it asked me to give my final answer in. So hundredth means two decimal places. So I'm going to take 3.80. But because my third number is a 6, this 0 is going to round up to a 1. So this is going to become 3.81. From here, I only have one more step, and we are done. So I'm going to add 4 to both sides. So those cancel out, and I have x equals. And now all I have to do is add 3.81 plus 4. Um, I'm really just adding the 3 and the 4, which is 7. And then this uh, 0.81 kind of tags along. So this right here would be my final answer. A good idea would be to double check your answer, and I'm not going to go uh, not going to go through it in great detail because I'm I can confirm that this is a correct answer. Um, but the way you would do that is you would take your the left side of your equation, which is e to the x minus four, but instead of x, you're going to type in 7.81. And when you type this into your calculator, you would see that it comes out to be 45. Now, one thing you need to keep in mind is that we did round this natural log of 45. So when you plug this in, it's going to give you a number really, really close to 45. 
but probably not exactly 45. Um, so keep that in mind that when you're checking your answer, if you rounded somewhere in your problem, that may affect your uh, when you check your answer. But as long as it's really, really, really close, um, that is a good indication that you have it correct. There are two ways to solve this equation. I'm going to show you uh, both of them, but I'm going to show you the way that, in my opinion, is easier first. So for option one, uh, the easier way, in my opinion, is to solve this equation by getting the bases on both sides of the equation to match. So I'm going to write 4 to the 5x. And then instead of writing 16, I'm going to write that as 4 squared. So now I have base 4 on both sides, and all I need to do now is set my exponents equal to each other. So I'm going to write 5x equals 2. To get x by itself, I would divide both sides by 5. So my final answer is x equals 2 over 5, which is perfectly acceptable. If you prefer to write your answer as a decimal, it would be 0 0.4. And that would be it. That's the whole problem. Now, like I said, there are two options. Now, I'm, I'm going to show you option two now. Option two, I think, is a little bit more work, um, but you can do it the exact same way that we did the previous problem, number 29. So we're going to use logs in this one. So I'm going to rewrite the problem, 4 to the 5x equals, and then I'm going to write equals 16. And I left that gap in front of the 16 on purpose because the way we're going to take 5x and get it out of the exponent is by taking the log base 4 of both sides. The reason we're taking log base 4 of both sides is because this now turns into just a 1, and this exponent will now drop down out of the exponent. So what I have left here is 5x equals this right here, log base 4 of 16, you can type it into your calculator. If you have a calculator that will evaluate logs of any base, you type it in exactly how you see it. If you do not have a calculator that does logs of any base, you're going to use the change of base formula. So you're going to say log of 16 divided by log of 4, and your calculator will tell you that the answer is 2. So what I have here is 5x equals 2, and you'll notice I'm now in the exact same spot I was here. So divide by 5 on both sides, x equals 2 fifths, or if you prefer a decimal, x equals 0 0.4.